Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. From the turreted castle and Main Street to Monte Cristo Island and Kukwana Land, Bartholomew Zenon's Zenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he is burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything, guests, staff, and fellow supernaturals taking refuge in the park. The night sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. Even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Emerald Deep Zoological Park and Planet Zoo. Um, ordinarily, you'd be working, you'd be looking rather at a big circle with the words cougars in the middle of it, but I accidentally deleted it while I was moving things around. Um, say la vie, I know where I'm going to put it. And that's what we're doing today. We are going to be adding cougars to the zoo, and they're going in right about here. I'm going to be bringing this path down, and that way we're going to expand into a big cat zone. Um, I did move some things out of the way. Uh, this is not where they're going to end up. <clears throat> I can tell you that uh, after the cougars, I'm probably going to do the giant anteaters, and they're going to end up in the middle here somewhere. But, be that as it may... What we're going to start doing now is put in a, a habitat for the cougars. And so I'm going to move this over to the, uh, I'm going to move, uh, I'm, I'm going to move this over to the, to the time lapse shortly. Now, um, in other news, uh, you know, I did, as, as you probably know by the fact that I did raccoons already, I did get the twilight pack. I'm liking the twilight pack. Um, there has been some speculation about the fact that it may be that uh, Frontier is ready to recognize modded species. And if that happens, if they fix it so that you don't have to reload the, the mods every single time uh, there's an update, I may start using some of those. Accent on, you know, on the word may. Um, I don't mind the modded animals. I mean, it's not like that. It makes it easier to play the game, you know. All it does is add new species that aren't already in the in the game. So anyway, guys, I'm going to move it to uh, the time lapse, and I will talk to you on the other side after we're all done.
So what do you think? Here is our cougar habitat. I might tweak it a little, uh, maybe by adding rocks along this wall. But otherwise, this is the habitat. I like how it looks. I, I like its functionality. It wasn't that complicated to build. I'm going to try and lower this hill a little. That should make it easier for them to get up and down. Um, 
And it is, of course, the first habitat in the uh, in the big cat section. So that's going to be fun to do. Okay, thank you very much. You know that that's going to be fun to do while uh, while I'm doing everything else and, and the zoo is working. So anyway, uh, if you liked what I. What I did here today, if you thought I what, what I was doing was cool or you uh, think this would be a zoo that you could really go to, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Here I am trying not to burp in the microphone. Uh, you know, hit that notification bell so you get every one of my videos. Folks, I am having a good time with this. Uh, like I said, though, I am already planning out my next zoo. It's going to be the Sequoia Park, which is going to have a northwestern U.S. feel, uh, almost Canadian Great White North feel. Um, next episode, it's going to be the Giant Anteaters, which I'm going to be putting right about there. So I will see you in a couple of days, guys. Bye-bye.